Hey everybody, welcome back to GTech, and today I'm doing yet another gaming PC build. You guys seem to really like these. My last two that I've done have honestly blown up, and I'm, I'm actually very thankful for that. I've got yet another build right here for another friend of mine. It's crazy that like all my friends are getting into PC gaming like right now. But my buddy basically bought all the parts and he said, hey, can you put this together for me? I said, heck yeah, if you just give me some time to put it together, I can even make a video on it. He's like, good to go. So instead of rambling on about everything, let's just get straight into all the parts. Parts. So the CPU needs no introduction. It's the Ryzen 5 3600, a 6 core 12 thread CPU built on AMD's Zen 2 architecture. Honestly, one of the best performing gaming CPUs, especially for the money that you can get at this price point. So instead of using the included Wraith Stealth CPU cooler, we're going to be smacking this big boy on. It's the Scythe Mugen 5 Revision B. Now, this is one <laughs> massive CPU cooler. And I gotta admit, I've got a little bit of a sweet spot for giant beefy tower heat sinks. So this thing's gonna keep his CPU nice and cool. Not gonna have any issues with thermals at all. So I'm really excited to throw this in the system. For RAM, he's getting 16 gigs of G-Skill Ripjaws 5 running at 3200 megahertz. And considering I've used basically this exact same kit in the last two builds, that must say something for the quality of it. All those parts are gonna be connecting to the ASRock B550M Pro 4 motherboard. And yes, this is a micro ATX motherboard. So it's gonna be a little bit smaller than your standard ATX, which means it's a little bit more compact, but you still got all the expandability of standard ATX. We're gonna be throwing two storage drives in his system, a one terabyte Western Digital Blue hard drive and a one terabyte Crucial P1 NVMe SSD. That's gonna give him the best of both worlds in terms of speed and mass storage with two terabytes of storage total. Now for the graphics card, he actually went team red on this one. That's why I'm actually wearing my nice red flannel right here because the CPU and GPU are both from AMD. This particular model is the Sapphire Pulse RX 5600 XT. So it's gonna be a great graphics card for 1080p gaming and it's gonna pair super nice with his Ryzen 5 3600. The power supply is nothing crazy. It's a 600 watt 80 plus bronze rated unit from EVGA. It is non-modular, so we are gonna have a lot of cables in there but I feel that I'm gonna be able to just cram them in the bottom of the power supply shroud just fine. But speaking of the power supply shroud, let's actually talk about this case right here. It's the Fractal Design Meshify C Mini. Now the big difference between the Meshify C and the Meshify C Mini is that it's, well, mini, it's shorter. It's a micro ATX enclosure instead of a standard ATX enclosure. But you're still getting a ton of airflow with that geometric mesh front panel, and it's got two included 120 millimeter fans. So overall, I'm actually really excited to work in this case. I wanna see how Fractal Design lives up to the Meshify C name, because I haven't built in one of these cases before. But enough talking, I know what you're all here for the beautiful glam footage, so <laughs> let's get started on that.
You know, it's honestly nice to step away from all the bright, flashy RGB lights and all the crazy liquid cooling and the over-the-top hardware, stuff like that. It's a lot more palatable to most consumers. But you know what? This is honestly going to be one heck of a 1080p gaming PC. Maybe even a little bit of 1440 if he gets a monitor that supports that. But first things first, I gotta give props to Fractal Design for just the wonderful craftsmanship of this case. There were a lot of little details that I actually really appreciated when building in this system. There's plenty of little cutouts right at the base of this power supply shroud, butting right up against the bottom of the motherboard. That's perfect for routing things like front panel connectors, USB 2 headers, USB 3 headers, even HD audio. Stuff like that, it was perfect. The cutouts aren't huge and they're not even grommeted, so it's not like they're going to be a huge eyesore, especially if you're just running one or two really thin cables through them. It was honestly just a pleasure of a case to work in overall, and it's fun stepping into the micro ATX territory, especially with this, you know, Mesh FI C Mini. If I hadn't already picked out my motherboard and my case for my next massive PC upgrades, I probably would have gone micro ATX. It's honestly just a really fun form factor to work with because you're getting all the expandability of ATX while not compromising on the size of ITX, but you are getting a smaller footprint overall. But something that doesn't have a smaller form factor overall, this CPU cooler. I'll be honest, I've got a sweet spot for massive, chunky, beefy air coolers. Why? I don't know. I think it's just hilarious how comically large they are. But the absolutely massive footprint of some of these CPU coolers isn't their main selling point. Some of the absolute top of the line flagship beefy air coolers actually outperform some all-in-one liquid coolers. And that's great because they usually go toe to toe with these coolers at a lower price point. And another thing is that you don't have to worry about any serious moving parts. The only moving part on this is this 120 millimeter case fan. It's just a standard case fan. Even if this fan were to die years down the line, the CPU cooler itself is still going to passively exhaust heat, especially with the natural airflow of the case pushing air out the back and the top. So personally for me, I'm more of an all-in-one liquid cooler kind of guy, but I know plenty of people who would be more than happy with just giant air coolers like this. But otherwise, that's just about gonna do it for now. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. I know a lot of you guys are starting to like my PC builds and believe me, I've got plenty more in the works. I've gotta do the entire massive, basically complete system revamp to my personal machine. And let's just say that we're throwing a Ryzen 9 5900X in there alongside an RTX 3090. But I'm not gonna spoil too much for you guys. If you wanna watch that video, just stick around, or if it's out by the time that you're watching this, it'll be in a card in the top right corner of the screen, which you can click up there. But anyways, that's just about gonna do it for now. So if you like this video, you know what to do. And if you wanna see more stuff like this, make sure to get subbed down below, because I love making this stuff for you guys. And as always, have a good one. Honey, I'm a big